Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Video: Veteran forced to sell home after hefty fines for flying American flag, now headed for trial. As I was growing up, it was dirt common to see an American flag of one size or another on people's front porches. Not so much anymore. Air Force veteran Larry Murphy loves his country with all his heart, so he decided to put a small one on his front porch. One day I was thinking about the country, and I put a small American flag on my front porch in a flower pot," Murphy said. It was just his small way of showing his patriotism. It's a small flag, Murphy said, but it stands for a big thank you. Murphy could never have foreseen what would happen next. The homeowners association at the Tides Condominium in Sweetwater, Florida took extreme umbrage over the gesture. They obviously did not feel the same love of country that Murphy feels. I got a violation letter that stated the American flag was an unauthorized object and for me to take it down, Murphy stated. He did what I certainly would have done and refused to remove the flag. They started fining me up to $1,000 because I wouldn't take the flag down, Murphy said. That's just abusive, offensive and ridiculous. It was a $100 a day fine. That's when I lost it, says Murphy. Murphy retained the services of Gus Saris, a well-versed attorney. We believe we have the right to display the American flag, we filed suit in federal court," Saris said. At one point, Saris said an agreement was met and it was decided the flag could be flown. They considered it a win. However, just a few months later, Saris says the HOA changed the flag ordinance to a flower pot ordinance. Now, that's dirty pool. Somehow they recategorized it and started doing the same thing again," Saris said, which was the same flag, the same flower pot, the same dirt and the same plant. They decided they weren't going to regulate flags, but flower pots, says Saris. Some people call this the Larry Law. Murphy was once again being fined $100 for every day he would not remove the flag. He also claims that the HOA was using his HOA fee money to pay off the fines unbeknownst to him. So, the monthly homeowners' fees weren't being paid, Saris said, that's how they were able to get a lien on the property. Talk about sneaky and underhanded. Murphy was not notified that was happening either. Put another way, Murphy thought he was paying the required fees every month to live in the 55-plus community, but unbeknownst to him was becoming delinquent on those payments. It only got worse from there. The legal battle has now raged on for seven years. All the while, they kept finding ways to fine him for the little American flag. They just started nitpicking everything that I did, Murphy said. In 2014, the HOA placed a lien on Murphy's property claiming he hadn't paid his dues when he said he had. Murphy was slapped with violations for not parking in his driveway straight enough, for having a snowflake Christmas window decoration up after Christmas and for putting solar lights up at Christmas, along with a whole list of other violations. Murphy claims these violations were a retaliation after they reached a settlement. They didn't like losing that case, and it got worse, and worse every day, he adds. Amidst the horde harassment from his HOA, Murphy was forced to sell his condo to avoid being foreclosed on. That's just so wrong. Sold my place at a tremendous loss and got out of here," he said. Even though Murphy got the heck out of there, his legal battle is still warring on. Somebody had to stand up and say, this is not right, Murphy said. Murphy and the HOA are due back in court for a trial beginning next year, this time in state circuit court. Saris calls the whole ordeal, insane and is seeking damages from the HOA for infliction of emotional distress and breach of contract. Based on previous court records, the only thing the HOA permits in a planter is foliage slash plants slash flowers. HOAs are there to maintain the integrity, peacefulness, and serenity, and this HOA has done anything but that, says Saris. I just feel like at some point people need to stand up and go to the wall for what they believe in, adds Murphy. The HOA is avoiding the press over this. I'm not surprised. I certainly hope that in the end, Murphy wins his fight. This is sheer abuse and harassment and it just should not be allowed to stand all over a tiny little American flag in a flower pot. It cost a 77-year-old veteran everything and he would do it again. This is no way to treat someone who selflessly served his country and it's no way to show respect for the flag in America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.